new camp for us. Mushroom cavern. Tradeway. Drider layer. Luminous mushrooms. Way back to our yeah, let's see what the bitch queen wants with us. Actually, no, let's not. I see shopping opportunities. I got us lol, queen of pains, hear my call and grant new life to your faithful servants. Oh, she's resurrecting the casualties. I pleaded the Spider Queen to grant you a new life, and she agreed. Oh shit, she's using a whip. I should have taken the exotic buttons. Whip is a terrible weapon to do damage with, though. It's, it, I think it does 1 to 2 point plus the enchantments it has. Examines me arrogantly. I hope you had a good rest, Commander. It was refreshing. You are in need of my services. I want you to explore the surrounding area. I feel that the exit to the surface is near. We had some casualties at this very nippling outpost. Men need time to regroup and heal their wounds. What do you think I'm doing here? I don't want you to send your men for exploration. I want you to go. As you wish. I will go and explore the area. Where do I start? I can feel the surface world getting closer. We are almost there. Take Lieutenant Nalad with you and check the surrounding tunnels. Come back if you find something of interest. You are dismissed. Well met, Commander. Hello, me, Nalad. We have new orders. As you wish, Commander. Are you any good? You are very good. Lawful evil drow, fighter rogue. Uh, decent weaponry and yeah, a lot of immunities. He's good. Well met. Ah, oh, Belaya, you are finally awake. Do you have a good rest while we were securing this area? I see you have a new shield. Nice. It doesn't look like drow craftsmanship. Where did you get it? I found it in the outpost. Very useful. It looks very large for a swerf nippling. I know. I think it is of human origin. Hmm. I'm wondering what else you found there. All areas we entered after your scouting were looted. I'm wondering what happened to them. One day I will cut out your sharp tongue, Lomir. We will see about that after I am finished with your quick looting fingers. It's always easy to lay back and watch others do the dangerous cutting jobs. When everything is cleared, all you do is showing up, show up and claiming the best parts for yourself. Only that the best parts are long gone when I arrive. Mm hmm. Tough luck. One day, even your lucky streak will end. Don't expect me to help you out when this happens. Be assured, I will never need your help, Lomar. We will see about that. Yes, we will see. Well met. Akranal. Commander. 
How did you like our little battle at the outpost? We were victorious, but I prefer battles without casualties. Mistress Bewewin will call them back to life. Lols never grants life without a price, and her prices are high. Do you like your role as Lomar's lieutenant? He's a good commander, and I won't say anything against him while he's around. I don't exactly expect any of, any of them to say anything against anyone. Still, shopping, please. Please, please, please. I'm pretty sure I noticed a flap bastard here somewhere. Some kind of gas. Luminous mushrooms. Let's try the luminous mushrooms. We came from here, so I'm not expecting any real trouble here. Poison gas. There's a wall opening. Fuck this. Poison amplifier. The strange looking mechanism is obviously some kind of amplifier. It turns volcanic vapors into highly poisoned gases. Gash going away now. Right. Don't dare to continue on while we're dazed. Uh, I can move, but that's all I can do. Fall in step as you should. Follow. Thing of interest. It's more large mushrooms. Fall in step as you should. Hollow. It's amazing how long this blast thing lasts. We did get something uh, of, of an item from Loth, didn't we? 
Where is that? Fifth ward, one use per day. Uh, it's something we can cast ourselves to. Please, days, just go away. I didn't have to last this long. Mushrooms and I take in Nilad is stuck on something. Layer. They're not hostile, that's something. Nameless leader. We need to rescue one of them. Maybe this will bode well for us. Guards, wait! I want to speak to the drow. So, finally the drow are back in these tunnels. Riders, how disgusting. You cannot insult us. We are disgusting. A rider lair so far from the next drow settlement. How did you get here? We are the survivors of a drow at Strike Forest. Loth punished us for our failure and cursed us to stay here in this horrible form. Ulthrathi... No. Loth's wraith can be horrible. What did you do to deserve this? As we advanced into these tunnels, our enemies had formed an alliance with dwarves, service elves, and even humans. Even though we defeated their attacks, more and more of them came back, trapping us at the river to the north. We built our defenses, defeating their attacks, until we realized that our noble leader, Siwim Hunet, had silently left us. The flight the flight of Sivim was the lethal blow to the moral of our troops. As the enemies came over us, only a few made it to the cave. Is this how you were defeated? But why are you still here in this horrible form? Loth sent a Yokla as we regroup in this cave. We thought she would help us with her divine intervention and approach her emissary. But the creature turned against us and cursed us into this horrible form. As far as I know, this was more than 200 years ago. How did you survive for so long? We are cursed to stay here until the way to the surface is reopened. Hmm. We are here to do this. Help us to get to the surface and your suffering will have an end. We have suffered far too long to care about this anymore. We found a new goal to live for. You're not interested in removing the curse anymore? So it is. We have abandoned our worship of Loth centuries ago, and our only remaining goal is the destruction of Sivim Hunet.
We never heard of him again in Menzo Berenzan. He must have already died. No, I can feel his presence in these tunnels. Find him and kill him, and your reward will be great. While you hang out here do it with your uh, spider bros. Ah. Uh. Okay. Something to keep in mind. Spider bros to the west, south, there's just poison. Hmm. Wonder if we should try to go the way back to outpost. See what's there. I mean, there was the other second draw group, so. Besides, where the hell is our mage? Humberhulks, shit. They shouldn't be too tough, but they have those. Got them stunning ability. I think I might be immune to it though. Yeah, immune to mind affecting spells. As long as they use, yeah, stun the other umber umber hold. Good job. So as long as they use that ability, we're okay. They're actually fairly good melee combat users, so... That looks incorrect. Yeah, we could have multi-classed earlier on, now it doesn't make much sense. A uh, good choice would have been just to take a fighter, because we could have gotten martial weapons for free. <sighs> New spells. Probably a refill on level 4 and 5, yep. Yeah. Hmm, should I take slow? Actually, I like the Hammer of Gods quite a bit. Ignores friendlies, uh, and I think it dazes, does a damage type that is very hard to block. A lot of good things going for it. True scene. The target creature can see through sanctuary and invisibility effects and automatically spots hiding opponents. And it has a decent duration too. This is uh, against certain enemy types, this is pretty much mandatory if you want to fight effectively. Sort of nibbling might have been one of those. I mean, realistically speaking, a lot of time we were just sort of. Uh, Targets were disappearing or we were missing quite a bit because of the concealment. Wouldn't we if with with true seeing that would have not have been an issue. No 
Sullivan trade away. There is nothing for you here. Well, there's Umbra Hulk. Yeah. This is not a good combat AI for them. They need to go into melee mode much sooner. Now they keep spamming the, spe the special ability they have, but it has. It's not gonna work, so they're just wasting away their life. They're more worthless opponents than goblins. I think when we get to level 12 we have to take wisdom to 19. We're getting level ups at a quite a rapid pace and there's a decent chance the game might go that far. This is chapter 3 I think and there's 6 set chapters so somewhere around level 15 would not be out of place. Although Here, here. Yeah, I'm very disappointed with the Umber Hulk behavior now. Beholder Lair, oh shit. That's, um. That's a tough one. But they never said I have to clear out these places, just got along. Goblins. Mm -hmm. they're not hostile riders I don't I do not want to fight against okay the one who sees us all allows no weapons uh, okay well met tactics okay. well met Oh, Balmir is getting more and more annoying. What do you think about him? That guy's nothing but a braggart, believe me. Nothing but empty threats. Hmm. I want your opinion about Biwiwin. What do you think about her? That's a difficult question. She is our leader. Her ire can be terrible. I know, but what do you think about her leadership? Well, I must admit that the deeper sense of her decisions is not revealed to my view. You mean she gives foolish orders? That's your interpretation. I am just a simple male and it's fairly... No, it's fairly obvious that our leader don't don't cares about the lives of her soldiers. We started with a group of, of about 50 and now a mere dozen has survived. Ah, I see. I don't expect 
him to really talk uh, shit about our leader. But I was more or less curious about is is someone on her side really? No one seems to be, but she's the leader, so they don't really want to push the issue, which is fine. Hankson. Giggling with weird joy. <laughs> Drow! After all these years, I surely expected this for a long time. How long have you been here? I took shelter here about 60 years ago. Who are you? I am Hanksom, High Commander of the Mool Master Beholder Corps. May I know your name? I'm Belaya Amaliana, Scout Commander of Her Highness Mistress Piwiwin's Forces. Very impressive. What are you doing here? Okay. <laughs> it's uh. Okay. I have made powerful enemies back in Mole Master, you know. I see. You must be coming from far below. How did you manage to avoid this for nibbling outpost? We killed them all. It would take an army to conquer the outpost. Maybe. So why do you come to me, mighty drow? I'm searching for the route to the surface. Can you give me some directions? I came from the surface and I know the route back. Oh, why not tell me? I need to ask a favor from you first. Always the same. What do you want? There's a mind flayer to the south. Bring me his brain for my studies. We are coming from the south, and I didn't see any trace of mind of a mind flayer. He hid his lair behind a secret passage. Go back to the great crossing at the Drider Lair and search for a cavern east of it. You will see two luminous mushrooms at the northern wall of this cavern. Examine them, and you will find the passage. I will take this into consideration. Take your time. I will be waiting here for... Um, do you mind if I loot your stuff? Back of holding. Ah, oh, oh, that is genuinely very, very useful. Hmm. See if we can put some of our crap away for the moment. It's not an answer, though. We're still carrying too much crap. We even have these goddamn journals with us. Uh. Still, it is what it is. I'll dump them somewhere else at some point. Okay. Need to kill the illithid, otherwise there's no way we can find the path to the surface. Could we'll use a little bit more light. I think the scholar ring is producing a little bit, yeah. So it's it's not gonna make a difference. We have colored lights we could use, or gems that we could create permanent light, but it's not gonna be any more impressive than that. 
Uh, and if it's colored, it actually probably looks a little bit worse. The white light is just fine. Old battle side. Probably should turn back. Go handle the illicit. But do, 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 the guy who the rider were missing somewhere too. The one who the riders wanted. I don't see at the moment at least any reason why I shouldn't kill him. Probably undead here. Large bones. Have skeleton warriors, skeleton warriors, skeleton chief. They're too strong to be affected, but this is a problem. I'll have your life. Uh, please have a weapon. Man. I'm guessing the guy we're looking for is somewhere ooh, beyond this. See, because this is the battle site that they were talking about. Mugger. Animated corpses of unrepented villains. These are actually very tough. Yes, don't really see what I could use against it. Suppose I could buff my uh, abilities. Ah, oh, shit. this neutral skeleton warriors Quite a few skeleton warriors. Yeah. Seven minutes. Possible. Holy shit. It's basically a lich, I guess. We can't just attack him, at least not now. We need to talk to him first. Bilactor. Okay, we might not be. Okay, we might just have to just sort of bilactor. Let's talk to the guy first. I greet you. Crow, after all these years, how did you get here? We made our way through this sort of nibbling outpost. Very impressive. 
What is your destination? We are on our way to the surface. To the surface? How interesting. You are almost there and still the hardest part of your journey still lies before you. Tell me more about the way to the surface. The way to the surface leads through a layer of spiders. Where is this layer of spiders? You can find it to the south if you follow a magma tunnel where volcanic gases come to the surface. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, I'll check it out. Now we know. Maybe there's a way to dispel it, or maybe there's a way to blow away the gas. <laughs> so, can't say much. Well, shit. These guys just need to survive. Find traps, just in case there are some here. There are not. I wish I could tell them to just destroy the file factory, but power attack and go. Uh. Well, that wasn't mm, all that well defended, was it? went down with that I mean this this is not well designed in my opinion. I assume in this is the end of it. Because a leech knows that the phylactery is his most vulnerable spot. He's not going to just have it out in the open or easily destroyed, not without precaution. There has to be something drastic you have to do usually to make it vulnerable. This is just Eh, it was just hit it a couple of times and it's over. Not much of a not much of a defense. Wand of Dispelling, okay. Maybe we can use this to dispel the smoke. Razor's Warmer. Sivim Skull. Is there a ring of power? Protection. Ropes of whatchamacallit, staff of something. So. Um. Uh, Unexpectedly easy, way too easy. Currently switching ring of power to active use. Now we need the extra light. Regeneration and some resistances. Okay, purple light gem, red light, orange light, white light. Um, 
something that we're likely gonna keep. Lesser ring of power. It's a slightly brighter light than the thing we had before. Taste the pain. Tasting the pain. Gonna level up soon. I should weaken them enough so we can uh, quickly just plow through them. Good job, everyone. Okay. And I do like the remains of the battlefields. They actually look like there's a decent amount of people died here. Path has to end someplace. And this end. Okay. So we have a fairly good understanding where to, what to do. I think I want to do the mm, beholders mission too, even though I don't think we need to at any at this point anymore. Maybe not. Let's see what the Illithid provides us. If he's automatically hostile, then we can just kill him, try to get a reward out of it. If not, hmm, probably a says go and kill the Beholder. Uh, beholders would be more trustworthy than Illithids, though. Illithids view other races as inferior. Not just necessarily racism inferior, but also as they're like cattle. Slaves. Something just to be used. There, there isn't necessarily even the acknowledgement that they're just uh, more or less in the equal, equal, equal races as far as intelligence and other things more or less are concerned, but there is something fundamentally lower that's valuable. Things, not even proper sentient beings in the same way they are. Cattle is probably a good meta uh, analogy. Because they like to eat the brains, so they use us as both a food as food source and as slaves to do other things. I think Drow have a reputation of not to get eaten because they are used as uh, they're good with their fingers, so they're used to massage their their own heads. More useful as slaves than as food.
Sivim has found his end. Alas, we have our revenge. Let's talk about my reward. What do you want? Magical trinkets. We have only a few magical items left, and most of them are of minor power. Show me what you have. I have this magical scimitar. It's a nice weapon, and I have this cloak. It will protect you from missiles. Choose one of them. Well, I'll take the scimitar. Why not? I have a decent cloak already. So take it. You should be leaving now. Icicle. I cycle. I cycle. It's a plus two weapon. Uh, fire resistance and plus two cold damage. So this does 1d4 cold damage and it's plus one. I have no reason not to use this. Your clerics have sort of boring level up stuff. Never get to pick anything cool. Spells are the only interesting thing you have. So. I take Searing Light. I've sort of been avoiding these direct damage spells, but they might be useful. Ooh, our first level 6 spells. Undeath to death. Create undead. Ghoul gas with white and spectre. And they sort of seem sucky, especially the white and spectre, but I think they have a decent concealment and they drain ability scores, something like that. So they can be used to weaken certain uh, opponents to the point that they're worthless. Heal. So fully restore. Yeah, the source health fully. Dire Tiger. Blade Barrier. I like this. All those passing through the wall will take 1d6 points of damage per caster level, and there's no limit to that. This is not why this is good. This is when if you take maximized version of this, that uh, it'll, instead of being 1d6 points per caster level, it'll do 6 points per dam uh, of damage per caster level. Similarly, I could do an empowered version. Just pump that damage to a maximum, and then if you if we have those fights where there's a huge mass of enemies coming our way, we can put up this blade barrier or two over there. If they don't have fantastic reflex saves, it's going to be ugly when they come running through those. Harm's another good one. The caster makes a successful melee touch attack. Harm uses negative energy to reduce the target creature hit uh, target creature. 1d4 hit points. This spell has a reverse effect on undead, healing the target undead to full health. But yeah, after this, if this hits, target has 1 to 4 hit points left. That's it. There's no saving throw. It just, if it hits, and you, well, spell resistance might save you, but potentially incredibly powerful. No, again, not something I would like to keep in my standard repertoire of spells. Plate Barrier certainly is. I would like to at least test it out. It's uh, not good when we have other people with us, though. It's more likely to cause trouble than anything else. Banishment. Caster is able to cause all summoned creatures, familiars, animal companions, and outsiders in the area of effect to be destroyed. 
Little saving throne negates. Greater sanctuary. Greater becomes eth ethereal. No other creature can detect the caster. Attacking or performing a hostile action will make the etherealness vanish. It's a good spell. If you're in shit, deep shit, it's a basically a get out of jail free card. Painter ally. An outsider is summoned to assist the caster. A type of outsider varies with the caster's alignment. I think we're gonna summon something like a succubus, maybe. Undead to death is uh, a similar to banishment, but it affects undead. Extended haste. Uh, I'll take that. It's not necessarily because it's better than everything else, but it's uh, it's always good to have. Okay. Uh, I lost my strength. Okay. And somewhere in here is a hidden. We call it. Well, it's not necessarily here. I didn't listen to the instructions that clearly. It's either in the north side or the south side. Hidden passage. Not sure if we have to detect it at all. Yes, here. Definitely here. How do you get there? You don't. Can I talk to these guys about the mind flare? Wonder if it's uh, something we can just enter without detecting it. Um. Beholder told me to search a cavern filled with luminous mushrooms to the south. Okay, it's luminous mushrooms, area of this. We can wrap that up very quickly. We already have the means to secure the exit, but where the hell are they? Okay, it looks like at least a small area. No, it's a portal room. Is it to a large area? No. Put away your weapon when you approach the master. So, I think we have to just choose which one we're gonna kill.
Spider, drider, drider. Fall in step as you should. Hollow. A voice in your mind. You are not like the wee creatures usually found here. Who are you, Jowl? And what is your desire? I'm... I'm here to find a way to the surface. The way to the surface? How odd. Can you help me with some directions? These tunnels have become very dangerous since this beholder creature moved in. Hmm. It looks like a big eyeball, a very dangerous creature. It forces unknowing creatures under its will. Yeah, no shit. This is all very interesting, but I was asking for the way to the surface. You can have your information, but there's a prize. Kill the beholder and bring me one of its eyes, and I give you the information you desire. Nobody have the goddamn information. Um, I dislike elitids in general, so. We're in fairly good shape. You are not worthy. Oh, no, 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 no. Fall in step as you should. Where Follow. else, my dog? Ah, whatever. To the fight, give no quarter. Uh. To the fight, Die give no quarter. Jesus Christ, he has uh, 60 point shield remaining. Ah, oh. God damn it. This should go through it. Well, what died? That one, I'm not sure what it is. So, that's a wrap on our little place in this area. There is nothing for you here. I'm confused. Shit. Don't be confused. Stop being confused. I'll have your life. Lithid brain. I think this uh, guy was one of ours. Ah, uh, whatever. Don't want to seem like I don't give a shit about his fate, but mm, don't really give a shit. 
Create your cloak of protection against evil. Rod of resurrection. Rod of frost. Unlimited uses. Could be useful in certain situations. Okay, team. Let's go. Hollow. To the fight. Give no quarter. Ah, let's go. Devyarn is dead. The fool defended Iharastin with his life and died. Okay, I have no idea who the guy even is. But he's dead, so it's not that important, maybe. Ah, <sighs> either way. I guess we need to report our success. I will a quick save here just in case it's a waste of time really. We rest. Um, it's easier to, to rest. We, we can cast the haste on our character and reach the target area much faster. Except the yeah. Got up. Ooh, okay. You are back. Do you bring me the brain of that despicable, despicable mind player creature? Yes, I have it with me. Great, give it to me and I will give you the information you see. Oh shit, we have weapons. I still need the information. Do you think I will betray you? I don't know you. There is no reason for trust. It doesn't matter, paranoid drow. I could kill you easily, so listen. There is only one way up to the surface. Go to the south near the Mind Flayer hideout and search for a volcanic tunnel full of noxious gas. This is your way up. Do you consider me a fool? Gas will kill us if we try to pass the tunnel. It is of magical origin. It was fairly easy to negate the poison effect with my anti-magical eye. Perhaps you should try to dispel it. If this doesn't work, use something to cleanse the way. Now, give me the Mind Flayer's brain. Here it is. Good. Is there anything else? I'm searching for a trading place or something like that. A trading place? Do I look like a rotten merchant drow? Surely not, but you were asking and I told you. Alright, alright. Tell you what, Dark Elf. Actually, I have established a little trade business between those goblin slaves and other races of the Underdark. Maybe I could make use of some of your stuff. Let's take a look. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Shimmering Blade. Hmm. Hmm.
a lot of sh okay. By this spell magic scroll, in the resistance. So it, it's basically just a way for us to tough equipment, which is to be a very, very, very much wanted. White robe of an arch magi. Thank you. Not sure if the money is actually really worth worth anything. Good staff. Do not buy stolen goods. Well, shit. Not exactly stolen. And what the hell does he care? Wand of Winds. Okay, yeah. Another item we can use to dispel it. It really looks like we have enough options. So. I can't buy sell the most of my stuff anyway. Uh. That's not even enough coal to purchase the item. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's a fair point. So there's a limit of how much gold you can get from these. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Either way, that did help with the weight problem a little bit, but it's still a problem. I think I'll just use the Gust of Wind one. It's much harder to find a use for that particular one. This spell is useful almost everywhere. Gust of Wind only affects uh, certain type of area of effect spells. Basically counters them and doesn't do much else. I suppose it can knock people off their feet, but it's not uh, it's not all that amazing of an ability. By the way, let's wrap this up. It's not supposed to be used like this. Where's my spell wand? Yeah, this is not the answer. 
Uh, I'm guessing it's... Uh, things are just fine, however, how it's meant to be used is different. Spell it or blow it away. But how exactly is this supposed to work? Look at the item we got. Poison amplifier. Strange looking mechanism is obviously some kind of amplifier. It turns volcanic vapors, highly poisonous gases. Uh, was this supposed to be in there? So I'm not supposed to take it out. Gases and clouds. What do you want from me, game? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm ending things here. Um, it might be anything. I don't know. So, uh, I just don't want to waste time figuring it out now. We'll figure it out some other time, but we should have everything needed to get past this. Maybe we need to just talk to someone.